In this lab, we're going to take a look at how to go ahead and create a global administrator account. So what our scenario here is, here is that Holly Dickinson is a, a Datum Enterprise Administrator. Since the Microsoft 365 account has not been set up for her, we will be setting up a, we'll be logging as the MOD Administrator, which we already logged in here. And we're going to create a global admin account for Holly. To do that, it's pretty much a very simple stuff. But we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to come over here to Users, drop down menu, and then click on Active Users. Again, it's drop down menu for User, Active Users. And then we're going to hit Add a User. When, by doing this, we can now fill in the user information for Holly Dickerson. She's going to be our new GA, Global Admin. And therefore, Holly will be able to do anything she wants to our tenant. And we are okay with it because Holly is our IT pro. So now we're going to add Holly username or name, first name Holly, last name Dickerson or Dixon. I keep thinking Dickerson, but it's Dixon, Holly Dixon. And then display name is Holly Dixon. And then the username is going to be just Holly. Actually, let me change that here. I accidentally paste that in, in somewhere else. So let's come over here, put in Holly as a username. And our domain, we only have one. We don't have additional domain. So therefore, we're going to keep it that. And then the password, we're going to create a random password for her. In fact, we're going to click on create we're going to require one that we're going to require and check this box because we don't want the password to be changed and we're going to make the password is something as simple as that for her and then we're going to hit save basically that's it so we're going to hit next we, we will not save it right now and then now that the password is not saved we're gonna go ahead and choose several things for holly before we get started so our location is going to be united states we're going to give holly our premium subscription which is office 5 e5 she gets all of it and then after that we're gonna hit next now that we can add additional information for holly but the main thing we're interested in is giving Holly a global administrator account. On the roles, she's just a user right now, so no administration actions. If by default all users will be created like that. But we want to change Holly to GA. To do that, click the drop down menu. And then we're gonna go ahead and actually select admin access. Select the admin center access, and then we're gonna go ahead and either give her exchange help this, but we're gonna give her GA. Again, to read more about GA, has unlimited access to all management features and most data in all admin centers. So this is the highest level permission you can give. We're gonna give her, and also Microsoft recommends that you should not have more than five global admin accounts at the same time because global admin accounts are twice as often as other accounts so you should have fewer accounts than five to protect data and services assign limited roles instead and so that's why right microsoft has these other roles which are less damaging if they get compromised and whatnot and you also can set up mfa and whatnot but that's another video so now let's hit next this is the summary holly dickinson holly dixon her username is holly our tenant password is there she's getting microsoft you know office drive e5 product and then she's getting ga and we're gonna hit finish setting up that's it she is ready she is her user account is ready and we can go ahead and we'll find holly now in our active users account if we go ahead and actually scroll down since we don't have a lot of users we don't even have to search for it. We're just going to have to refresh and we will see her shortly. Holly Dixon is here. So that's how you can go ahead and actually, you know, create a user with the roles. In this case, global admin role. And so I hope this was 
very helpful now we're gonna proceed so we're gonna 